What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. There's a flashlight for the warrior in all of us. Olight makes some awesome flashlights. This is the M2R Pro Warrior Deliberate Tactical Operation. I want to just throw, uh, throw this out there because this thing throws 300 meters. I can't throw it that far. And max 1800 lumens, usually on like a turbo type mode. So I thought I would unbox it. You can also get a bunch of accessories for this thing for mounting it. Uh, to your oh to your favorite uh, boomstick you can see it's a oh you know it doesn't have a plug it's a magnetic charger that attaches to the base which is super super nice so here we go take a look at this first of all this boxing is second to none and here is the MR2 Pro Warrior all wrapped up in this beautiful nylon pouch we get a plastic ring right here looks like we've got a belt loop with a very sturdy strap right there and a second strap underneath it you have a button release on the buckle right here and then you've got the flashlight itself and take a look at this little bad boy man it's got some weight nice and sturdy you have a bi-directional clip right here so you can put it going in or coming out man you've got some pretty mean looking tactical uh, crown up here and that beautiful anodized blue Olight right here. Um, lots of ridges here to get a nice solid grip on it. Some um, some cuts in there, cuts down here, basically uh, for getting a nice grip on it down here too. You can see we have a pass through the lanyard. We also have some protectors right around the button here. And that's going to be, I think that's the magnetic uh, connector and it's also where if you want to put a pressure switch or something, it'll connect on the back here. And then we also have a power button right here, rubberized, surrounded by that typical old light blue. Now, I just want to take a look and see what else we get in here. So we have another box, and it looks like I can pull down here. What it's saying to do? Well, I don't know if I was supposed to do that that way, but I'm just going to tear this sucker open. All right, here's all the juice to the thing. And... There's the lanyard. Oops. Man. You know, and the warrior me just tears things open. Boom. So we get a nice lanyard there. Kind of neoprene lanyard with a push button lock. And then we have the magnetic charging cable. USB on this end. Probably about two feet long, about a foot and a half, two feet long. And then the Olight recharging cable snaps right on there. So super magnetic, super strong. And like I said, the other accessories will go on there too. So first thing I want to do is unscrew the back nice and tight. You can see the O-ring revealing itself. And we have a little plastic protector keeping the battery from engaging right now. It does come with the Olight battery, 21700, 5000 milliamp hours. I certainly trust that. And I'm going to screw it all back together here. And then what we can do is I'm going to hit the back here because that works like a power button as well. And man, just cycles through everything. Boom. And I can feel the heat coming off that thing. That is stinking bright. So obviously I can toggle it on and off. If I hold it down here and then release, it works like a momentary. And then you also have this button up here too. Look at that, now we're kind of in the like a firefly mode. And then if I think if I hold it down, we're stepping up through the different modes. And then if I double click it, boom, we go to a very bright mode. Triple click, we get to a strobe. And then if I tap it once, it turns off. And if I hold it down here, if we go up a little bit and then I turn it off, it looks like it has memory. And as I mentioned, there are some accessories that you can pick up for this because it is a tactical light. This is the RWX07, and this is a magnetic remote switch. So what you can see here is that this can be very useful. Some zip ties there to attach it to your particular device. Oh, look at that. Look how powerful that is. That just jumped onto the flashlight it's directly. This will slide onto a pick rail, but you can also remove this, pop this out, and like I said, just glue it down I think if you want but let's go ahead and ah, man this thing is so magnetic all right so if I go ahead and put it on there and now 
I've got my pressure switch here. Boom, look at that. It's a momentary light. Like I said, have this on a vertical grip or attached to your rail. And then you can just rip the sucker off and use it handheld too. Now, I also wanna show you this piece. It's the flashlight mount. And there's the model number WM2125. And this little bad boy, look at that. All right, we got some rubber spacers, double-sided stickies. But this sucker will slip onto a pick rail right here. It's really a solid polymer. And as every well thought out Olight product, this is not going to loosen up accidentally. You pull it out like this, and then you can turn the sucker. So it's kind of like child safety. Look at that. I can open the sucker up just like that, clamp it down by twisting it like that, and then this will not move. I took the clip off and I'm gonna take this back cap off here. And now if I take the clip here and just pull this all the way back, just like this, you can see it moves out of the way. I can slide it down onto the base here, just like that, release it. And now to tighten it back up, I just pull this out, tighten it down, install it. That's gonna hold everything in place. It's gonna hold it to your pick rail. Then you can reinstall this cap here like that and then you have a fully tactical mounted flashlight that is awesome all right so much for playing around with this inside what we need to do here is take it outside and see how it works in the dark all right out here in the dark you can see the moon got a little crescent going on up there but a little chilly out here and if I just turn on the flashlight, you can see, woohoo, there are my feet. And I do like that the power button glows green, so you know where that is. You can find it with your thumb pretty quickly. But even on this setting, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's lighting up the grass, no problem. Obviously, the trees right here, no problem. But it's even illuminating those trees out there a little bit as well. So if I hold it down, we're going to go up a step. Man, it's definitely like a spot beam. It's not like a flood. And that is actually illuminating those trees out there quite, quite well, even though I'm not sure how well the low light camera is on the phone here. But if I hit it again, boom. I mean, now, now those trees are lit up in a way that it's really bright. If someone were hiding in there, no one would uh, be hidden anymore. Tactical. If I hit it again, wow. I will tell you, even though I haven't double clicked it to go on turbo, this is wicked bright. I mean, right? You can see all that. That's not hiding on the camera at all. And if I hit it again, now we go down to this lower light. I don't know. I won't call it Firefly, but some might. And I'm gonna double click it here and boom. All right, look at this. We also have a big flood pattern on either side. It's really dumping out light, crazy big. And man, you could clear a house, but I would say inside, this is almost too bright. You would wanna, you'd probably wanna step it down to one of these lower levels inside. But I'll tell you, even outdoors, man, this thing is wicked nice. Hey, if you wanna pick up this Olight, you absolutely can. They are just made to last, uh, to take a beating, and they are just wicked, wicked good. Um, they aren't the cheapest uh, flashlights available, and that is because of how extremely awesome they are. But I will put a link to these in the description below if you want to pick up the MR2 Warrior Pro. Peter Von Panda, out.